welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new get ready with me video. This is the look that I'm wearing here today and I really like it. I just came up with it kind of. Well like obviously. Um, I was just doing it on the fly though. I wasn't really quite sure how it was going to turn out. But I like this look. I used the Lorac Mega Pro 3 for the very first time. You guys I'm so sorry. I have yet to do my live swatching video but I didn't get around to swatching these yet. I'm going to do it this week. It's like at the top of my to-do list so I'm so sorry about that. I was like okay let me do a tutorial with this palette so you guys can at least see it that way until I'm done with that live swatching video. Okay, enough of my chatting. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I just missed you guys. Okay, let's get on with it. I hope you guys like this video. So I've been realizing I really like starting with my face. I did that in the last tutorial, I believe. Yeah, my I did a Kylie Jenner makeup tutorial inspired by her complex magazine shoot. And I did the foundation first, I'm pretty sure, and I really liked it that way. So I'm going to start with my skincare, work into foundation, and then we'll jump to the eyes. I just woke up. You can probably tell I have like extreme sleepy face because I never film this early in the morning. But Alok and I are going to go do some stuff today. So I had to film a little bit earlier than usual. So I am feeling a little puffy and tired. This is the Fresh Lotus Eye Gel with Cucumber Extract. It's supposed to be calming and depuffing. It's extremely cooling, actually. When you feel it on, it's like, woo. What do you guys think of my eyebrows? I feel like um, my brow game has stepped up so much. I know I said this in my last video too, but since I started using the Makeup Forever brow palette, I like much prefer my brows now. On top of that, I also just want to take my Ginseng Origins Refreshing Eye Cream. It's a brightening eye cream, and also this is more of an eye gel, and I always just worry. I know it's, I, I know I'm kind of making up that worry, so I don't know, like don't quote me on this or anything. It's just like a concern I personally have. I just feel like gels will dry you out, you know what I mean? I just feel like gels are drying, and I know that probably isn't true because there's plenty of gel products that people really like. But when I just think of a, dr a gel product like drying down, I just imagine there's only one way it could go. It could only get like tighter, you know? So I like to throw a cream on top of it just in case so it doesn't dry out my under eye skin and then I'm like looking like extra horrid and decrepit and wrinkly, you know? So whatever. Just an extra precaution I like to do, but don't worry about it fam if you think I'm being excessive. <laughs> Because you're probably right. I desperately need a new face moisturizer, you guys. I decided, so let me know what you've been liking. I'm going to take this little, this is a little sample. Paracone MD Face Finishing Moisturizer. This moisturizer is feeling so nice, though. I know it doesn't have an SPF, but I was just like, whatever, dude. After I let my skincare sit a little bit, I'm going to take this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Been a favorite of mine again recently. It's just awesome. It fills in your pores so, so well. It's super smooth. I'm sure you guys have tried it by now. It's like the original primer. But if you haven't, I do recommend giving it a whirl. Next for foundation, you guys, I want to use the Hourglass Vanish. This is in the shade Golden. I did do a review of these a while ago if you missed it. Um, I will link it down below, but it's a... Oh, okay. I don't remember this being... This is not the right one, is it? This is not right. <laughs> I'm such a moron. I didn't even like check the shade before I put it on my face. This is the right shade. This one's called Nude. Um... Me oh my. Okay, it looks like I'm actually too late for either one of them. We're gonna have to figure this out. Then I'm gonna take my Sigma Duo Fiber. This is the small Duo Fiber, the F55. And I'm going to swirl that all over and blend it in. And then we'll evaluate the color situation going on. I did not realize how I really have lost all my color, it looks like. I'm gonna fix it with this long comb foundation. This is the Tinted Doll Ultra Makeup Stick in the shade 310 Bisque C. And I'm just gonna break up that yellowness with a little bit of rose tone. Well, it's more of a cool tone foundation, so. I'm really liking this duo fiber brush to blend in my foundation. I just kinda like grabbed it on a whim this morning. Okay, just like that, you guys, I think I'm gonna wait on concealer and I know I'm gonna start getting really creasy under my eyes because I haven't set it yet. There's like an itch on my nose, but I don't want to set anything until I just get a little farther on my eyeshadow. So for today on the eyes, I want to use the new Lorac Mega Pro Palette 3. Oh, it's stunning. I didn't know it was going to be so beautiful. Mm, I'm sad it's white though, because I'm going to ruin it in two seconds, but that's okay. I've ruined all my palettes, so it's like whatever. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with every, every color. This is the Mika or Mika Beauty eye primer and I'm going to take it with the Sigma P84 brush and just pop that on the lid as our primer. I probably didn't even need it because of our foundation that I just put up there and the concealer from when I was concealing my brows but still. Next to kind of establish our base shade you guys, I'm going to take pink cream right here. I'm going to swirl this all over my lid 
to help lock in that primer so we don't get the creases that I'm starting to form over here and I was starting to form on my other eye. Oh my god, these shadows are so pigmented already, you guys. I love pink cream all over the lid. Let's go into violet gray. Just working it up and over like that and then buffing along the way. I'm then going to go into eggplant and I'm going to focus that. Oh my gosh, these are so pigmented, you guys on this very, very, very outer V. I don't want to drag it in too far or anything. I just really want it right out here. Taking that same blending brush from the beginning, I just want to swirl that over everything and marry it all together. Next on the lid, I'm like really being drawn to this Bellini shade. So I'm going to run this right on my lid. I did get my brush a little wet with setting spray, by the way, because I really wanted this to show up. A high reflective shadow. Like I was not expecting this. I really love it though. What do you guys think? I want to go back into eggplant with a smaller blending brush. And just use that to really sharpen up around that Bellini shade because sometimes, you know, it spills over onto the whatever shade you previously laid down and it can look a little funky. So I just like to go back and blend one more layer in between those two to kind of secure it and make sure everything's nice and blended and seamless like that. And then I'm also going to take a little bit of jet black in the outer corner as well. So I'm like, it's October. I can be as smoky as I want this month. Not that you can't be as smoky as you want every month. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm going to embrace it. I'm going to embrace that I can wear as much makeup as I want right now. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to pack on some black. As you can see, I'm kind of lining that Bellini shade. And then I'm going to go back over it to blend out. Okay, taking my eggplant brush again, I'm just running it over that black to blend it out. Taking the original blending brush once again to do a final sweep over and kind of blend out those edges over there. This is kind of cool, this look. It reminds me of like stones and like amethysts and like jewels. Oh, jewel tones. <laughs> is that what I'm trying to say? Really I'm taking my Makeup Forever concealer palette. I'm so excited for this brush. This is the Concealer Blend Kabuki F79. It's one of their newer ones, but it's a great concealer blending brush, you guys. And then, you guys, I want to set all of that with my Kat Von D translucent setting powder. Take some of that into the lid. And I think this eyeshadow is so cool. Next, let's move on to eyeliner, you guys. I'm going to take my Line Ace Liquid Liner in the shade Legend. You guys, I'm so excited. I'm almost done my book. Um, not my book. Not, I'm not writing a book. I mean, I'm almost done reading The Girl on the Train. Oh, it is so good. I know I'm super late to it. Um, I think it, what did it come out in like 2013 or something? Like I just did it with me before you. Like I have to read the book before the movie comes out because it's like, everyone always says the book's so much better than the movie. And they always are. They're always right. Oh my God, it's one of those days where my wings just keep getting too big. Just bigger and bigger everywhere I look. Love it, love it, love it. My eyeshadow is like reminding me of like Barbie's makeup for some reason. I don't know. Okay, now I'm going to set the rest of my face with this Maybelline Fit Me Powder. Just going to swirl my little brush in here. I don't need much. And as you can see, I'm pretty much out of it. So I'm just going to tap it on all the areas that I didn't tap any powder on yet. And then you can also use it to wipe away any of that translucence that's still baking on your facey. Headed back into the Pro Palette, you guys. I want to take... I'm going to go into Eggplant, I think. I think I'm just going to do the Eggplant. I really like this shade. I'm going to run that Eggplant shade right into my lower lash line here.
I still kind of want to use black on the waterline. I know it'll be like super duper dark makeup, but um, I just don't normally wear a lot of black on my waterline. And I did it the other day in that Kylie Jenner tutorial again, like that I keep freaking talking about for some reason. I tight lined my eyes in that video and I just loved it. I never really do it because it hurts my eyes so bad every single time I put makeup on, but I don't care. It's my passion and I love it. So I keep wearing it, even though I've been recommended to stop wearing makeup altogether. On my eyes, anyway. And then for mascara, I'm going to use this current favorite. This is Velvet Black Masterpiece Max Volume Mascara from Max Factor. Max Factor is actually a limited edition in the U.S. right now, which is super exciting. So like I said in my Kylie video, if you guys haven't seen it, run out and buy all the Max Factor. Because if Max Factor was my favorite makeup in like high school when I first got into it, and then it left the US and I was devastated. So the other day when I was in, I think it was a CVS and I saw like a Max Factor limited edition stand, I was dead. I was like, oh my God, I need it, I need it. And really working it onto these bottom lashes, you guys, because I feel like my bottom lashes are just never full enough. I would love a long bottom lash. Do you guys know if they put lash extensions on your bottom lashes or just your top lashes? I would love some bottom lash lash extensions. To finish up the face, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Little Black Book of Bronzers, one of my favorite little things in the world. And I'm gonna take some Milk Chocolate Soleil with my Sigma F23. Just add that into my contour cheek area. I really like the tone of Milk Chocolate Soleil. It's like not as orangey, it's a little lighter. I really recommend it. And then I'm going to run that into my forehead and temples, because as you guys know, it's necessary for me to feel fleeky. I need that temple bronze to bring me back to life. Oh, I miss this brush too for my nose contouring. I don't know why I haven't been using it. Oh, I do know why, I just found it in a drawer, that's why. Next for blush, I'm taking Becca Cosmetics Wild Honey. My camera's acting a little funny right now, you guys. It just shut off, and now I think the color looks a little weird, so I apologize if this video looks a little weird. I don't know what it's doing. I'm gonna pop this on my cheeks. Love Wild Honey. I, don't, I do not wear this enough either. I'm gonna line my lips with Urban Decay's Rush Lip Liner, and then I'm gonna throw on Yash Lipstick. And now Yash Lipstick by MAC. On top of Yash, I wanted like, I think I just want a little bit more. So I'm gonna take this gloss, you guys. This is Poppin' by Kylie Cosmetics. Oh, I didn't even show you. Poppin', kinda goldy. I've yet to use it, so. <laughs> I don't know what this is, yay. I thought this would kind of match Bellini, like our lid shade. Lastly, for highlighter, you guys, I'd like to use Champagne Pop by Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill. So I'm gonna pop some of this on. Actually, I just want it like a little more blingier, a little more champagne poppier. So I'm gonna spritz my brush with my Benefit Ultra Radiant Spray, tap off most of the moisture, okay? And then I'm gonna go into my champagne pop again and just lay it on there. And look at that, put out. All right, fam, that is it for this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really like this look. I think it's so pretty, and yeah. Uh, so if you guys want to subscribe, the button's down below. Go ahead and hit that. I love you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.